here with Coach Helmer. Coach, one of the uh, most look forward to meets of the year for the athletes I know, Penn Relays this weekend. Um, some big uh, relays for the on the men's side and on the women's side. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Um, looking for a chance to go compete against some great, great relay teams in front of a very large number of fans who really appreciate the sport and will uh, show their appreciation if we happen to, to, to run well. We've uh, we've got some great relays put together. I think we've we've had success there in the past, and uh, we think how luck at all. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll win one. Last year, in position to win uh, two of them, uh, didn't have Andy Bayer on the anchor. How big is it going to be to have him at Penn Relays this year? Well, you don't win unless you have an anchor, and in fact, you don't win a relay unless you have two anchors. you got to have one guy out in the middle that can break it open, another guy on the end that can finish it off, and, and I think we have those people, uh, particularly Andy on the end, who's, who's shown his ability and, and how much he loves being put in those situations. So that's pretty comforting, but there's some great teams out there, and uh, we'll go see what happens. Last year on the men's side got two uh, – Got into two Championship of Americas in the 4x1 and the 4x2, only team from the north to do so. Uh, how big was it to show that the team is really well-rounded here at Indiana? Well, that's what we intend to be. We, we talk, have talked all along about being a, a, a complete track and field team, a well-rounded team, not just a cross-country team, not just a sprint team, not just a running team, but a field event team as well. And and we I think, shown that. And... Probably what was more important for our men's 4x1 last year, they made the Championship of America, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of Hoosier fans were very excited about that. But then for them to follow that up by making the finals of the national championships and, and scoring there and coming home All-Americans in that event and breaking a, an old, old school record, uh, they just they, they showed, again, that, that our Penn Relay's performance wasn't a fluke. And, uh, uh, and, and we've got some sprinters. Coach Huntoon does a great job with those guys. And, again, you want an anchor kind – one of great carry kind butlers become one of the great sprinters in the country, and uh, he makes those things easy to happen. And on the women's side, you've got uh, several upperclassmen that are running well uh, with Brianne Ehrman and uh, Kelsey Dirksen. Uh, you know, what do we have to look forward to this weekend on that side? That group of girls has been challenged to, to get better, to, to do more, um, to, to not make this all about our men's teams, but go in and, and uh, um, or, or, or go to any meet and, and make their own mark, and, and that's what they've been doing. As you just said, Brianne had a great steeple this last weekend. Kelsey, 419, 1500 a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Jordan Gray, 207 the last two weekends in a row, ready to break through there. Um, I think we'll have a nice distance medley. I think we'll have a very good 4x15. Um, uh, our 4x8, um, you know, we've got six girls that have all run right at 210 or 207 to 210, and so if we get picked the right four, um, we'll be competitive there. I don't know that we're, we're in position to win one, but certainly uh, people are going to know we're there and we're going to be in the mix for a while. Uh, at the Penn Relays, the field eventers have had pretty good success the past couple of years. Derek Truen won in 2010, and then Faith Shirell won in uh, 2011. Um, you get Druin and Darius King into the high jump this year, you know, um, yeah, those guys are good. They're, they're going to take their shot. Um, either one of our two women shot putters, Monique Reddy, Kylie Buckley, or they, they kind of big one uh, percolating under the surface a little bit. I think you know, they've got shot. Kelsey Dirks, or excuse me, Kelsey Abbey, uh, did she win last year or was she second? But she's had great success at, the, at that meet as well. And so, uh, um, you know, a number of places where I think we can have some great performances in the field. And then the men's 4x4 four four, uh, came along right there at the end of the uh, indoor season, uh, heading into the pin relays. What do we expect from them? Um, you, you may expect them not to run. If everything goes well, 4x1s, four 4x2s, four we may opt not to run the 4x4 four four this weekend. Um, if we haven't advanced like we want to in some other places, then we could put a great 4x4 four four out there. Um, the last two weekends we've run 311 without... 44 second anchor that Kyle Butler was giving us and and uh, so I think we're poised to run a great one when we choose to do it and it might be this weekend it might not. All right well thanks for talking with me good luck this weekend at the Pen Relays. Great appreciate it.